Let me ask you a question. You both are successful. If you want to go with that success, Shane, you want to do buddy film, you want to do Sopranos, you have a category, could you make an okay living? But you wouldn't be happy with that. Is that true? Just go ahead and wait. Wherever they hit you. You mean you'd be like a staff writer yeah. somebody? Yeah. I, I'm not made to do that. You don't, you don't want to do that. You, I'm not made to do that. I, I, I'm not capable of doing that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I, I think that's dead on because the reality, and I might have mentioned this at one table I was talking to earlier about how, you know, unless you've got something better to replace something with, then don't say anything. You can't just, as Shane just said, willy nilly go, I don't like this character. Well, then give me what you like. And the reality is that in a meeting, when you take these meetings with these executives, and hopefully you'll be in a meeting in which all the executives are on the same plane, they're all unified. And Shane's absolutely right. You, they will never give you a specific. And don't talk too much. Just listen and then go back and recreate what you think and hopefully you'll make them happy. Because to get into an argument with them and you're dealing with people who don't know what they want, because they're not giving you anything specific other than saying, I don't like this scene. Well, what do you got better? Well, no, we think, you know, we don't really know what we want here. Well, you know, that's just the shitty part of the business you're gonna have to deal with, people not knowing what they want. Let me ask you a question. We're talking about uh, you being a category. You had to do a position to keep people in the room, something I've never had a job or one or two jobs. In the beginning, is it better to be branded? You're a horror writer, a copy writer, whatever it is, or are not necessarily <laughs> Did it hurt you? It, I don't think it, I, I think after a while it did hurt me to be branded as just a cop writer. <coughs> um, people came to understand that I was capable of more, but you know, there's nothing wrong with sticking to a genre that you enjoy to break into something easier. Why take on, if you're, if you're just trying to write your first script, why take on a biopic of some Elizabethan character that you don't even like just because you heard that Kate Blanchett was big that year? Stick to what you write. Also, if you say war pictures are big this year, I'll write a war picture. By the time you're done writing it, the pendulum swings, war pictures aren't big anymore. No way to big. All you can do is write what never changes, and that's a good story. Right. Western, science fiction, underwater, whatever. Anything you yeah. yeah. I think, you know, the average movie takes, I believe now the future movie takes seven to ten years to make. So when you think you've got something really timely, it's seven years late. So um, that's just true. I have a question that everybody I can see now when you're successful, uh, when you have a couple of years. Is there something you realize now that you didn't? Before you had an agency, you wish someone mentioned something, I try to explain blah, 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 blah. And so what is that? It's a hard question. Now, I, would, I would have been an architect. If I knew what I do now, I would be what, 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 you know, it's much more difficult you ever imagine. What's that? It's more difficult? Far more difficult. It's, far, no. it's not like you're hanging around in Malibu and having a bunch of boys from Tangier sucking my toes all day long, <laughs> you know, drinking martinis, which is what I think my mother, or most people outside of this business, think that we live our lives on. It's not. It's a much more. It's a much more um, difficult. Far more. Um, it's not what most people think. It's not easy. I wouldn't recommend it. Shane, here's what it is. Here's what I didn't know when I started out that I now know. I thought when you started out, it was really hard to write because you hadn't broken in yet. Because you hadn't really got your stride yet. What I found out, paradoxically, is it doesn't, the next script that you write doesn't get easier because you wrote one before it. Each one gets harder by a factor of 10. Why not? I why? don't know. No, why. you know why? I think, okay. Why? I think because every time you write a successful script, you learn that much more about what works and what doesn't work. So therefore, as a real artist, what you're doing, it becomes more difficult because you know that you can make that scene that much better. And it becomes less easy to actually spin them off even though you're in success. Because you know, if you're ethical, if you have integrity, that there is a better way to write these things. And every time you write a script that is completed, you just learn, you naturally learn things and it makes it more complicated. I mean, any successful person, is a, it's gonna be a complex situation to create, no? No, you're right. and you wanna make it more complicated? Try this, you write a scene, you spend all day on it, it's seven pages long, it's the biggest load of shit you've ever seen in your life. It doesn't deserve the light of day, so you throw the drawer. Two weeks later, you read it again, and it's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> you never, I would never, I think you about it. I would to never throw anything out. So, I mean, I will end up having stacks and stacks of paper everywhere, because you never know what scene you're going to go back. Like you said, two weeks later. When you're sober, you go home. Or the converse is you think something's brilliant. Right. Yeah.